this year. All the stories are more lined up in this edition of Good Morning Series. And you can be part of the program by sending in your text message to 088-373-504 or find us on Facebook at SLBC Channel 31 Life. But first... Now it's time for us to rethink, think and think again. Let's remain to um, adhere to the COVID-19 protocols. Mm -hmm. So in every edition of this program, Good Morning, uh, we will ensure that we bring you some directives from health professionals, things that we must do and things that we mustn't do to ensure that we keep ourselves ourselves against uh, far away from COVID-19. So that is what I'll see what happens this morning. You see where them people here wear the mask then fine? Well, now so you self for wear your mask. Come by you know send you much all time where you did near other person. We are back and the program you are watching is Good Morning Say the Union Reaching Live from Broadcasting House New and Bill in Freetown. Well, ahead of the World Tourism Day celebration on the 27th of this month, Ministry of Tourism and Cultural Affairs has highlighted development programs to celebrate uh, this year's um, World Tourism Day. According to the Ministry, they will embark on training of local government authorities and grassroots private sector players across the country, which will help generate more revenue for the country. Tourism for inclusive growth. Well, this film underscores its potential of tourism in promoting opportunities for community, for in communities around the world, as well as the role of that community engagement has in advancing sustainable tourism development. On the sustainable development goals, which places a high priority on local participation, indeed, recovery of the social economic fabric of many countries will depend on the role of tourism. Well, in the studio to talk more on this is a tourism officer, Marie Kamara. Good morning, Mr. Kamara, and welcome to the program. Good morning, and thanks for the well, of the World Tourism Day, which is actually going to be on 27th of this month. You know, the activities of the ministry has lined up. Can you, can you just take us through? All of us know that I mean, tourism is one growth sector, you know, that actually contributes mentally to countries uh, gross domestic and uh, products. But let us know um, what are the activities you have, you know, as we approach uh, the day itself. 
Well, it may seem to be far, but the 27th of this month is not that far. So let us know how this year's celebrations are going to look like. Yeah, um, thank you very much. Um, the ministry decided to celebrate the World Tourism Day for this year um, to raise awareness on the immense contribution of tourism towards the development of the nation. And so the ministry has highlighted a lot, lot of activities um, ranging from engagement with key stakeholders within the sector, um, including academic researchers, diplomats, and also look at the sustainable development goals and see how best tourism can be linked with it. Because considering the, the uh, development of tourism, most of our assets lies in the provinces. And we need to bring communities on board and see how best we can analyze some of these things and the benefits of tourism. And looking at the, the immense ch challenges facing the sector in terms of climate change and the destruction of our heritage, the, uh, the preservation and um, restoration of these sites, I mean, all these are things that are affecting the, the sector. So we need to bring camps, we need to bring stakeholders on board and discuss on, on these things. See how best we can maintain them and preserve them. See how best we can prepare our product so that when tourists come, we can show them that this is what we have as a nation. This is what we can show as a destination. Now, we, we all know um, the tourism sector in this country or all around the world has been badly hit by the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Um What percentage would you say the COVID-19 stock uh, the tourism sector? Well, um, we can say 80% because tourism really affected, um, COVID really affected the tourism sector, ranging from employment, um, and the entertainment, all aspects mm -hmm. affected greatly by, by so but yet still, even though we are affected greatly by, by COVID, yet we thought it necessary that um, we cannot just sit, sit back and continue to watch. Let's rethink tourism. Let's see what, what mechanism are we um, we, and we need to come up with that will maintain on improve on the tourism sector once again. So that's why we are we are, we, 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 we are coming up with these activities. We are we can engage because tourism cannot cannot um, progress without collaboration. No Mr Kamara let us talk about um, uh, uh, domestic and tourism. In Sierra Leone we have you know so many potentials but these uh, potentials over the years you know have not been touched you know, effectively or efficiently as the case may be. But also, you know, what is the intention of the ministry to ensure that uh, we really, uh, you know, improve domestic tourism? For example, in China, if you go to China, you can see a Chinese man, you know, you from Sierra Leone or Ghana or America as the case may be, you can see, you know, all of, all of you guys will be competing to see one thing. Because they've been in China the whole of their life, that is just the only opportunity they will have to go see something. So in Sierra Leone, we have these potentials. There are things that we need to know as Aleonians. You know, our children, they need to know some of these things. Some of the things they just learn, you know, read in books, or they go to school, the teacher, the teacher will, will teach them to say, OK, there is a particular island here, like, for example, the Bronx Islands, and over very, very, very important, you know, and the touristic attractions. We don't know. A man will be in Sierra Leone, you know, from birth to death. He or she will not even know some of these places. Mm -hmm. But if only the tourism industry can make all these places attractive in a way by facilitation, I think it may it will be of great help to not only us as citizens, but also to the country's economy. Tomorrow, what plans do you have for domestic you know, domestic, domestic tourism in, in, in this country? Yeah, um, had it not been for the outbreak of COVID, this year has been dedicated by the Ministry of Tourism that this year is supposed to be a year of domestic tourism because all this while we've been promoting international tourism. Now we want to see how best we can sell the, 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 the facilities we have as a destination, as a nation. What can we show? So we need, we need to tap into the, 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 the domestic aspect. That is 
say you really say you know we need to uh, encourage people to make use of this facility that we are having mm -hmm. right so that's why we, we decided to this year is year of domestic tourism um with support from the world bank and UNDP. so um we decided to to improve on our legal framework like we are we are currently reviewing the tourism development act and we are formulating the um, national tourism governance and financial management strategy we are also working on the e-tourism policy and we we have we have a lot of um, um, um document that we are working on so, so that we can reposition our 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 destination we are in we can promote effective domestic tourism and um, with this with support from the world bank we are we, are, we, 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 we also embark on developing sites because we've done the assessment of all these sites and now we've identified about five sites that will be developed by world bank as a start we are we will also continue with that and other so and we said you know uh, um, development of a um, uh, domestic tourism site or tourist sites you know actually uh, needs some uh, CEOs capital investments like for example access you know we have nice you know um, uh, attractions but access you know has always been the problem so talking about the World Bank coming in you know, to develop or to make uh, these um, sites attractive in a way um, as part of the plans, you know, did you consider, you know, access? Access is, I think, is the key there. Access to these sites. Yeah. Um, tourism, as I earlier on said, we cannot. Tourism cannot thrive without collaboration. Um, through the effective leadership of the minister, we engage the um, rules authority, of which there are 21 rules. That are tourism and uh, that, that are leading to tourism sites that they will, they will um, 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 do for us as a ministry. So, in that light, the coming of um, World Bank to see how best we can improve on the site. Once the, road, the roads we are done, then these places will be blocked. The approval has already been done. Now, now one um, thing or one reason that most people in Sierra Leone are not interested in uh, tourism is because um, they are not aware yeah. or are, they are not accessible to yeah. the site. Yeah. But let's talk about the awareness of people of some of these important places. As Sheko rightly said, they will only hear about it and not get access um, um, to these places. That means you need to use the catch them young method. You need to work with them in schools. So how have you been working with schools, especially senior secondary schools, for them to get interest in our tourist places in this country? Yeah, um, in our activity as a ministry, um, these are one of the areas which we, we thought um, is very important where we can take tourism to the schools, engage the schools, I mean, even encourage principal, principal to be taking their kids to these places during fifty. Mm -hmm. But the awareness, we need to embark on massive awareness. That's what we are doing. And this, this, this World Tourism Day celebration, and this entire month mm -hmm. is month of tourism. We start the celebration now, we start the awareness raising on this site so that people know about it because um well, what is, what is, what is, apart, from, apart from the media engagement like you are do, doing right now you know what is the other uh, you know methods you are going to use to reach out because the thing is not everybody has uh, access to, to television or radio you know outreach programs could be of help because at the end of the day you want it to be far reaching so apart from the, uh, the media engagement you are doing right now, what other activities are you planning to do to ensure that people get to know about uh, you know, uh, what your intentions are, especially for this year's World Tourism Day? Yeah, we are also thinking of going to communities, engage them about this site, explain to them about the importance of this site, bring, bring, bring in, in the private sector so that we can stimulate the as to how they can invest because you cannot just um, inform people about sites without um, nothing happening there. So we need people to go and invest so that people make use of the proper opportunity within this site. That's why um, in, our, in our activities also, we decided to um, give training to young women 
within these communities so that whenever <coughs> tourists visit there, they will have something to take home. Okay. Which can serve uh, one thing, one other thing that actually probably hinders, you know, uh, the, the, the development of this very important growth sector is, uh, you know, language. Now, you have, you know, you know, multilingual, you know, people, you know, in that sector, because when a tourist comes, for example, from 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 France, you know, he or she needs somebody to be speaking French mm -hmm. to him or her. If somebody comes from probably Germany, if somebody has to speak the, the, the German language. So, do you have about human, you know, uh, manpower or human capacity in terms of um, uh, having having you know multilingual, you know, to be moving out with, with uh, especially for. This now is not for the domestic tourism, but for tourists who come from outside. Uh -huh. Do you have you know? Yeah, um, as I earlier on said, tourism is a collaborative work. We cannot do it all. We need other players to come on board so that we can improve on the tourism sector. We need to bring other people. We need to open the space. So, so, so in this capacity, what so other players do you need on board? We need everybody. Starting ranging from experts, diplomats, researchers, academics, we need everybody to come on board. The private sector, service providers, all these people we are needed to come on board. But how have you reached out? The thing is that um, you need them most. Mm -hmm. So which means you have to engage more. Yeah. So how much have you done you know, to ensure that um, you reach to these uh, very important players like like you've mentioned? Because as you said, it's not a one a one sector game. It has to be multi sectorial. Um, a, a, you know. So how much have you reached out? To that, that is why, as part of our plans for this year's celebration, we've already sent out invitation to them. I mean, because we want them to come on board and let's discuss. Let's come and talk. What is the way forward? Okay. What are some of the recommendations? What are the challenges to this sector? Let's discuss some of these challenges. And at the end of the day, we'll come up with a, an action plan which we can implement okay. as a means. Thank you very much, Malik, our tourism officer of the Ministry of Tourism, um, for being part of Good Morning Tech. We'll go to another issue this morning where the Minister of Health and Sanitation, Dr. Austin Denby, has told journalists that the increase in vaccination recently has led to the drastically reduced infection rates of COVID-19 in the country. He revealed this during an official handing over of Johnson & Johnson vaccines to the people of Sierra by the African CDC with its development partners. The official handing over of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccines was a step that ushered confidence to the health sector in the fight against the virus. It could be recalled that Brussels Airlines on the first of September this year shipped in about 52,000 doses of Johnson COVID-19 vaccines from the African CDC. To further talk on this issue, we have in the studios the spokesman for NACOVAX, Solomon Jamil. Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Terry. Good morning. Now tell us how will this new vaccine complement the um, efforts so far that has been made to curtail the virus? Well, um, we are all fully aware, based on developments globally, um, with about 219 million cases now globally and 4.5 million deaths, that vaccination is a very important tool in the arsenal to address COVID-19 pandemic. And um, what seems to be happening now all over the world um, is like a pandemic of the unvaccinated. We see where persons who are not vaccinated are becoming seriously sick and dying. And we've also seen what happened in Sierra Leone when our third wave started around June 5, when we started reporting double-digit cases, and we also lost quite a good number of people. So based on clear and compelling scientific evidence and data that vaccination is important to protect us, to give us the, the immunity and the antibodies that we need, it is important that Sierra Leone should also be part of that global ecosystem to get our people protected. With 52,800 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, um, indeed that is a critical step in diversifying the portfolio of vaccine in Sierra Leone. But over and above that, it means now we now have the ability to broaden access 
get as many vaccination centers and mobile teams as possible and take vaccines to the doorsteps of our people and our communities. So, and that is the reason why we continue to scale this up. So indeed, um, vaccination is very key, receiving 52,800 doses, which is actually sequel to what we had last month. Because okay, last so month, we had 96,000 again, AstraZeneca, so and 200,000. So tell us, tell us so far, how many people have been vaccinated in this country? So as at um, the 1st of um, September, um, 256,000 people had um, taken their first dose, mm -hmm. and over 60,000 had taken their second dose. Um, for the surge itself, for just the first 10 days of the surge, we were able to vaccinate over 92,000 people. Mm -hmm. The good news now is that we see it seems as if districts are now competing. We see districts who are now in a position to vaccinate over 8,000 people a day. And so um, we, are, we, we are witnessing a significant uptick in vaccination, and we, we hope to sustain this momentum. However, there was a significant lull in at least three districts, Western Area Urban, Western Area Rural, and Tonkolili, because of the po polio vaccination. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, um, they would have to do their extra 10 days. Uh, but just for the 1st of September, um, they got about 2,056, I mean 2,653 vaccinations in just those three districts. So we have seen significant uptick in this, mm -hmm. and we have to commend the, the significant partnership between NACOVAC and the Ministry of Health and Sanitation. No, no. Okay. No, um, uh, you know, Mr. Jamil, uh, let us talk about uh, uh, this confidence, you know, that has been built. You know, when uh, the entire process started, you know, the process of uh, vac vaccination, you know, some people we are, <laughs> we are, we are so, uh, you know, people are feeling in a way, you know, to go in to get the, 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 you know, the vaccines. But now we have seen a, a rush. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you think has actually led to uh, that has built of this confidence now going in, you know, for the vaccines, you know, voluntarily, even without vending coerced. Three things. Um, first, leadership. Second, public trust. And three, collaboration. Um, um, Sheku, for leadership, Sierra Leone has a very strong case to canvas globally that from the outset, we, we as a response, NACOVAC, together with our partners, have been having very strong um, directives from the top. And so His Excellency, the President himself, is advised by a scientific and technical advisory group, and there is a presidential task force. And the response that we have as NACOVAC, it situates strongly within the presidency. He has watch and he safeguards things the integrity of response to make sure that our operational mandates as well, we are in a position to attain our benchmarks and our targets. So that clear oversight from the top, that leadership that has been shown from the one, we saw at the level of preparedness, he was moving up and about, sending his teams and ministers to make sure that our level of preparedness was top notch. When we recorded our first case, we only had a bed facility at 34. In the course of the response, we scaled up to beyond 1,000 bed capacity, and we scaled down again when we are recording low numbers. So first, we have to pay tribute to the, the, commit, the clear political commitment and the leadership that comes from His Excellency the President. Second is trust. We have made sure as, as a response that one of our important, important benchmarks is transparency, accountability, continuing to engage the public to let them know that this is a communal fight. This is not a political fight. It's not an SPP thing. It's not an APC thing. It's not an NGC thing. It is a fight for and on behalf of the people of Sierra Leone, and we must own it. And for us as a response, and even um, for us specifically in risk communication and social mobilization, we believe that in any given outbreak or pandemic, sustained community engagement is key. So we have seen how the people have been able to accept this. When we, we did the test for our people that came from Kuwait, Sheku, you knew you know the hue and cry. And then we said to the people of Sierra Leone, have faith in your system. We cannot mortgage the integrity of the process. So we have seen this public trust and we to sustain this. The third one, as I said, is collaboration. 
NACOVA cannot do this alone. Ministry of Health and Sanitation cannot do this alone. And so we pay tribute to the partnership that we have locally and internationally. So those three important things we believe are the driving forces for the kind of um, successes that we are having in Sierra Leone and we think we should continue you know, to be on Mr. this. Mr. Jamil, we've seen a high rate of compliance to um, people for taking the vaccine. When do we hope to see the ban lifted on curfew? That's an important one. Um, so first, um, let me use the opportunity to continue asking Sierra Leoneans, as long as you are 18 or above, you are an eligible you are able to take the COVID-19 vaccine. They are safe and they are effective. On the curfew, um, we believe that when we started the third wave, um, June 5, curfew has been one of the restrictions that has helped us to spiral out of the third wave. Will curfew help us to prevent the fourth wave? We are not yet definite about it, but I think that we are gradually gravitating towards a position of lifting some of those restrictions. But that is not a thing that NACOVA can decide. That is the prerogative of the presidential task force. And I believe that some of those things are being discussed. A very serious consideration will be given to that. And I'm sure a decision will be taken in the best interest of our Now, let us talk about, you know, um, was it a, the day before yesterday or so, you know, when you did that um, symbolic, uh, you know, uh, vaccination uh, targeting, you know, sports, you know, people in the sports and in, in sector, you know, officials, players, and even, you know, fans uh, of um, uh, various sports experiences across. And we saw, you know, a massive uh, turnout, which, which also is an indication that uh, indeed people are willing to comply. Now, um, some of us who are football lovers, you know, we follow Premier League, La Liga, you know, and, and, and others. Um, when are we going to return to our various sporting, you know, venues, you know, once again? I, I think we are we are moving towards that. Um, Sheku, we all aspire to have resumption of our normal lives and our normal activities. But what is important is there must be safe resumption of, of our lives and activities. So for sports, yes. Um, the Inter-Religious Council, Sports, Entertainment, these are very huge constituencies. They are an aggregate of the population of Sierra Leone, so to speak. And so we have decided to target those institutions. And sports, we're looking forward to the um, lifting restrictions. We just don't want football, um, I mean teams, or Premier League, for example, to start off. And you don't see people going to the stadium to watch. Because over 90% of the teams will not get takings. Yeah. And it is important that when we go as fans, as spectators to support, we do so in an atmosphere where we are not saddled by the fact that me not celebrate, but the person waiting near me, you know, they you know, even wear your face mask, and I'm not sure you are vaccinated. I have taken my vaccine. How am I sure that we have sufficient protection in the stadium? Okay. So we believe that we will open up. Um, we have done the symbolic for the national teams, male and female, Premier League, Division 1, Division 2, it is now time to call on the spectators, the fans, to call out and get vaccinated. So one of those days, for example, we might just open up the middle and put vaccination centers there and just call on as many people who are eligible to take the vaccine to come out as we all prepare to um, start celebrating our teams again. And the National Sports Authority as well, we are in touch with them. I think they are now putting together the other sporting disciplines because they have seen this fine example that we have done with the football stakeholders and will open up and give access to them. And I think this is what we will do across the country in Sierra Leone. Oh. So yes, there is vaccine appetite and it is important that all of us who form part of the eligible population come out and get vaccinated. Okay, yes, um, indeed, um, Kima, there, is, uh, there has been a uh, you know, demystification of, of the vaccine. Of the vaccine, yeah. You know, people are really going out, you know, to have their shots. You know, people were just scared of the fact that it has some amount of a reaction depending on your your body makeup. Well, the thing is that, you know, I, I've spoken to many people, those who were apprehensive, those who were the unbelieving Thomas's are not going in for the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. So it is really a great step, you know, it is, uh, you know, we'll say kudos to Nakubak. Yeah, it's a great step. Uh, yeah. 
But we still have in the studios of the, uh, the, the, the man from the Ministry of Tourism, Tourism. as uh, preparing for this year's World Tourism Day, and who is um, uh, Santigi uh, Kamara. No, Santigi. Mm -hmm. one, of the ways, one of the ways to learn Sierra uh, Leone is by having a uh, success of Leone advertised internationally. We've, we watch CNN, we watch other you know, uh, media uh, you know, uh, outlets, especially television. And we see all countries, you know, advertising their countries on uh, these and channels. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe that uh, it is the responsibility also of the Ministry of Tourism to ensure that uh, our country is advertised internationally. Yes, but uh, that is not public. Even Gambia, we see Gambia advertising. We see, we see Gambia being advertised on CNN. Mm -hmm. Is the uh, ministry thinking in that direction? You know, it is also part of the rebranding process. Are you thinking of him having to uh, advertise internationally? Yes. Um, <coughs> during the um, the promotion of international tourism, I, I think that's what that that has been one of the key things uh, Minister uh, has been embarking on all this way to see how best we can continue the rebranding using these international channels so that people can people can see Sahel, see what we have in Sahel. That's why... And because the thing is that, uh, um, just, just a moment, the thing is that uh, you have your sell your own market. Yeah. If you have your market and it is covered, no, you can buy. So you have to blow your own home. Yes. Um, that, that, that's, that's why um, when, when she, she, she took up the mantle of leadership as a minister, due to her proactiveness and leadership, um, she decided to engage a lot of um, 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 international market. I mean, places, places where Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone has never been felt. I mean, based on our efforts, mm -hmm. we are able to be there so, um, in this marketing. In this what marketing what and, are some of those places that I mean, the ministry has taken the country to? Okay. Um, the ministry has taken the country to the Russia market recently. Um, had it not been for this COVID-19, maybe we would have been um, the issue of tourism would have been a different story by now. I know I know in the next mm -hmm. few weeks or months we will start talking about the effects of COVID nineteen on some of these areas because we now actually yeah, have the, 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 the vaccine. The vaccine. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you are vaccinated you protect exactly. yourself. There yeah. is no need to be scared you can even travel. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um the um the the, the minister participated in this um, uh, market, the speed the spin markets um the jam the market the Royal Russia market and even um, this one in, in, in Finland. So all this all this has been done by the leadership. Right? Mm -hmm. So um we are we are now trying to 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 engage these these people, see how best they can come in, sell Sierra Leone to them. No, no one, of ways, you know, mm -hmm. one of the ways to to sell and sell you is you know we have filmmakers here in Sierra Leone. We have people who can produce documentaries. Why not engage them? You know, they can package something that uh, that can be sold in a way using channels we've just named. You know, one minute, thirty seconds. Uh, you, know, you, you know, don't you think uh, you should be thinking in that uh, in that direction? Having sell uh, you know, sold to the international community yeah. through documentaries. Yeah. Um. That is also part of our um, domestic tourism package, wherein we can encourage people to do some documentary about Sierra Leone and sell them out. So have you been talking to these people? Have you had any arrangement or discussions with them? Yeah, yeah, we've started the interaction. I mean, mind you, I, I told you that um, tourism is a collab collaborative thing. We need to bring people on board. So we started that. And these are all part of our plans okay. to ensure that we market <coughs> and we we But it is that it is a collaborative or something, yes, we agree. Mm -hmm. But somebody has to provide leadership. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what that's what we are doing as a ministry. Okay, thank you very much, so, uh, Maliki Kama, for being part of Good Morning Terrain, and many thanks to Solomon Jamil from Nakovac for talking to us there on the Johnson Johnson vaccine that has arrived in the country. We'll go for a short break. When we come back, we we'll continue with Good Morning Terrain. As a mother of the house, whenever I want to prepare palm soup, there's no need pounding palm fruit. All I need is Inkulenu's Ghana's original palm soup base. My soup is done, and its preparation, it is not difficult at all. Inkulenu palm soup base 
It's easily done with no difficulties. Just take a few ladles and your soup is done. And its flavor, ah, it's amazing. This is Inkulenu's Ghana's original palm soup base. And this is Inkulenu's Ghana's original spice palm soup base. Hidden fruits and turkey berries are naturally added. Also available brown gold natural cocoa powder, sunny gold brown sugar, meat for full flour, shito, pizza and moringa. All available at Nyami Ado Enterprise, One Lower Waterloo Street, Freetown. Ikulenu Palm Soup Base. Canyon Original Taste. You're watching Good Morning Sierra Leone on SLBC. Program is Good Morning Sierra Leone live on the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation. For another issue this morning, the Initiative in Capacity Building Association International is facilitating the participation of 20 school children to participate at the Intercontinental Spelling Bee Competition in Dubai in September this year. The participants were drawn from Kainau, Kono, Kenema, and Moyamba districts that emerged as the best from the National Spelling Bee Competition finalists early this year. To tell us more, in the studios we have, we have with us, um, Asatu Musu Hardin, who is the founder and creative director of Initiative in Capacity Building Association International. Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Terrible. Good morning. Thank now, you. Tell us how it was the selection process for the, the, the participants. Um, we organized, first of all organized, Terrible at district level, mm -hmm. regional level, and national level. Those that qualified for the national spelling bee competition, with the spelling bee we have uh, two uh, sets. That is a representative that represents schools. That is the school bee. And we have the individual bee. They are in our stand up and say, I'm going to participate on my own mm -hmm. in my family. So qualified participants from school, uh, 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 at national level and qualified participants at uh, national level individual who brought them all together at uh, Hotel Cabenda some time back where they competed. The best 20 participants from Matujong, from Kailao, Kenema, Moyamba and Freetown are the ones qualified for the Intercontinental Championship Spelling Bee. Now, does this have a um, age range to say you should be 10 or 15 years old before you go in for the competition? The Spelling Bee, the Intercontinental Spelling Bee competition cut across. We have participants that are seven. We have seven years of age, you'll see them. We have eight mm -hmm. to 16 years. This is the age range that we have that will be competing at the... No, let us talk about you know, this uh, the Dubai competition and it is going to uh, take place uh, this September, right? Yes, please. So let us know exactly the date. Uh, the competition as of now, we are having the... First of all, we have a written competition that is supposed to start from the 1st of September to the 16th, 17th of September. Therein, our question has not come yet in Sierra Leone because we've not registered. Sierra so Leone need to first of all register. We need to register the participants, all 20 participants, and the coordinator. For registering. Funds, we've not received any funds as of yet. But we are hoping and we are praying that Sierra Leoneans will come on board, especially the Ministry of Education. Because I wanted to ask, who are the, the, the partners that you are working with? Um, we are working directly with the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, 
we met with the Minister of Social Welfare. They also seem to be interested. We've sent letters to all ministries, including the Tourism Ministry and Parastatals, that uh, we want to work with them. Even the First Lady, that's the first, one of the first places we sent the sponsorship letters. Well, Madam Haru, uh, this competition is going to uh, take place this end of September. And until now, you've not been able to mobilize the much needed resources Where to facilitate that? your trip to Dubai. And then um, we are in September, and in fact, today is the third. Uh, what is the, the assurance of that uh, you, uh, as a leader of the country, is going to uh, take part in this competition? Well, we've already met with proposed funders who are interested, who want to sponsor this very big at their own capacity. All we need now is the approval, the recommendation from the ministry. So, and the document, even as at yesterday, I met with the, the SPS, the Senior Permanent Secretary, and he encouraged me that they will show it, because the minister was out of town, that delayed some of the process. Okay, now let's talk about, you know, spelling generally in Sierra Leone. You know, it is still a huge challenge, you know, for especially PPUs and students. You know, having been for uh, the emergence of uh, the technology, the computers, you know, you can use Word to correct some exotic experiments. It is a challenge. And then, um, as the phrase goes, you have to catch them young. Yeah, exactly. And what, what you, you started really is a step in the right direction, you know, catching them young, you know, from primary school, uh, secondary school. Because the thing is, when exams are written, you don't have computers no. around, you know, no. to be using Word, to correct your mistakes, your spelling mistakes. So it means you are doing a fantastic job. Okay. Let's talk about the sustainability of this particular venture. How do you hope to sustain it? Um, spelling B, as you can see, we started it in 2010. 2010 to now tells you that we are a sustainable organization. First of all, what we did was when uh, we got the plate, Akela had the B, we photocopied the plate, we copied the plate brought it to SLBC because it was the first um, um, television station in Sierra Leone and then we copied it and sent it out to institutions for sponsorship. Though it was not sponsored, we took upon ourselves from our own membership drive, started Sperry B, sponsoring Sperry B for ourselves. We are in, we sent letters to the deputy directors of schools. These letters we sent to them, we it's it comprised of the the package we are really have the rules and regulation of this fairy bee, all the do's and do's of this fairy bee. Everything that's comprised about this fairy bee. They select the schools and school coordinators. These school coordinators are trained so that they can incorporate fairy bee in their own school. So that is one way of sustaining this fairy bee. It's not all about us. But training the school coordinators, that is more over the school English teachers in the school at school level. So that even the parents, when you register, we give you the package. So you, the parents, you are expected to train your child. We are in, that is why uh, teachers, adults, or parents are also very particular and keen about this spelling bee because it helps them, it, 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 it help the, the adults to also learn from this spelling bee. So this is why the spelling bee is um, um, sustainable, one of the sustainable ways. And we also, we've already been part of the International Co um, Committee. So um, by participating in the uh, the African Spelling Bee in Uganda 2019 20, so is now part of the African Spelling Bee Consortium, meaning so one day host the spelling, African Spelling Bee here yeah, yes, in Sierra Leone. And as now we've been recognized also by the script Spelling Bee, wherein we had a, 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 an invitation. Oh. After, after getting all uh, these connections and, and this assertion, why exactly is it difficult for the Spelling Bee or your organization to support this particular event? I do. Most of these, inst some of the institutions normally say it is not part of their activity. But then, uh, I don't really know. It's general in Sierra Leone. 
it's very difficult for Sierra to support educational activities compared to extracurricular activities. Example, while, when I was organizing fashion show in Sierra Leone, it's very easy for Sierra Leone they, they somehow run to the extra. So in other words, in other words, are you saying that uh, there is not uh, that much interest, you know, in uh, race and spending stuff? But, but, but the thing is, you know, as an organization, race has to do with, uh, you know, uh, education, and I think um, the Ministry of Education, you know, should have interest in it. Well, the minister, seemed, the minister and his, this particular time, at the, I'm, talking, I'm not trying to be particular, uh, to be political or to, but then this time they seem to be interested in this very big. Because reason being they were able to help us, to recommend us to participate in the African spelling bee. And I do believe, by what I got from the SPS yesterday, I do believe the, the minister was out of town, as he said, and when he came, he had series of engagements out of Freetown. So now that he's in town, hopefully today, they might send out. Uh, so how many people are we talking about? You know, Sierra Union pupils that are going to take part in uh, 20, competition in Dubai. 20 participants. Okay. We already hosted them uh, in free time here for two weeks. Trained them not only in spelling, we, we trained them in phonetics, how to spell in syllables. We trained them written composition, right, uh, letter writing, um, storytelling, writing points. It was a very, very huge task for us. We are in the indoors for completely two weeks on training. I do believe some people on Facebook might have watched it live on Facebook yeah. and also on WhatsApp. Hi, Madam Hadion. I'm Chase Aisa Tu Mosu Hadion, founder and the creative director in its initiative uh, in Capacity Building Association. Thank you so much for that. and wish you good luck. But I'm sure you participate in our uh, uh, competition in, in Dubai. Thank you. Hope you get the required, you know, uh, resources for you to participate. In fact, uh, you are not only participating, we are expecting you to compete, mm -hmm. you know, so that uh, you'll be held right up over there. Back That's the exact word, because <laughs> it's a competition. Okay. If you could remember, two weeks back, we had uh, a preliminary competition on Zoom. And so a seven years old media expert for Sierra Leone. It was just too fantastic. So if should you want to sponsor us, you can please contact us uh, on 076-374-4842-0887800-031-566-177. Not sponsorship, but we need to partner because we want more Sierra Leoneans to be with us uh, probably, you know, we should uh, kind of create another platform where mm -hmm. you know you can uh, yes, actually do this uh, social marketing, you know, in a way. Thank you so much. Yeah. We still have here the studios of the um, spokesperson for Nakovac, Solomon Jagin Migu, uh, who, who has been updating us on how the fight against them COVID 19 is going. We just received some. Uh, uh, doses of uh, vaccines, the Janssen and Janssen, and then um, the vaccination process is actually gaining momentum as more and more people are now willing, you know, to go in for uh, the vaccines. Now, Mr. Like Janego, um, as we go out, uh, people are now, you know, turning out in large numbers to for them to be vaccinated. Um, what do you have to say to those who are still, you know, reluctant in a way, you know, uh, going in for the vaccines? Well, we would continue to encourage them that. Um, this whole campaign to end COVID-19 and give us the protection that we need. Those who are actually driving it are the health workers. These are the people who are professionals, who are trained to advise us on the suitability of, of vaccines. And indeed, um, first, from the level of the World Health Organization, they have validated these vaccines to be safe and effective. Also, our Africa Centers for Disease Control and even our pharmacy board here in Sierra Leone. Okay. So let us continue to be encouraged. Have faith in our scientists and our health workers that these vaccines are safe and effective for all of us. Thank you very much, Mr. Jamiro, for being part of the report and the, the advocacy for children's education, a national non-governmental organization that caters for the less privileged children, is set to organize a corporate launch on the 11th of September to raise funds for the provision of scholarships for thousands of children 
in this country. The organization is also set to host the first national stand-up comedy competition in October this year. Ten finalists are now set to thrill the audience with the best comedy competition ever. In the studios we have, we have with us the founder and executive director of for Advocacy for Children's Education, Sa Sheku and Kukobe. Good morning and welcome to Good Morning Tell and Sheku. Good morning. Now tell us about um, Advocacy for Children's Education before we talk about the corporate launch. So, Advocacy for Children's Education is an NGO focused on helping deprived and disabled children in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And um, we started this NGO in 2017 and since the inception of the NGO, we have been going out to communities, seeing how best we can help these families, the prior families living in these communities in terms of the education of their child. And um, we also have been sponsoring the education of um, various children in various communities as well. We have about five direct beneficiaries who have been um, been fully sponsored by the NGO for the last two years or three years. Mm -hmm. And um, besides that, we have also been doing projects on a yearly basis that have contributed towards the education of children in society. So tell us why a competition launch before the, 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 the competition, the national competition, so, um, the comedy? So initially, this comedy um, competition, the finale was set to happen on um, the 19th of June. And, um, but however, because of the fact that the COVID incident happened, and then we had to defer the program to October 16. But you know, September is, an, is, a, is a month where schools normally reopen. Mm -hmm. And this is an NGO, and we had a plan prior to the um, happening of the event in June. But since that plan couldn't be actualized, that's why we thought it fit to organize a corporate launch where we can raise funds to at least ensure that the children that we do take care of are being continually, continually be supported mm -hmm. on a daily basis, which is why we're doing the corporate launch. So who are you expecting to be at this launch? Well, we're expecting people who we think as well have contributed to society and in, in their own little way. I can't give names because this is mm -hmm. a open black, but definitely there will be people there who as well we will um, see our best they can as we will contribute to society and um, who have contributed towards the society and we are as well going to have like the contestants, the final and um, the finalists there so that these people can know that okay. So do you have um, the finals in the, in the studio? Uh, it is uh, Dominic? Yes, Dominic, yes, Dominic yes, is yes, one of the, one of the finalists. Yes. So, so, so Dominic is going to, you know, before uh, you know, going any further, we want you to give us you know, a kind of, um, uh, if, you may, if you may like, uh, Acapella also, you know, Dominic is a finalist in yes. that competition that is going to be organized by you, the initiative of uh, incapacity building uh, a situation where you are going to, 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 to organize uh, this comedy competition. The first before going to Dominic, who is a finalist, we want to know uh, why using comedy? Why comedy? Why not any other event? But comedy? Why comedy in the first place? Um, well, the true question is why not comedy? Why not comedy? <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is comedy, I mean, from the word comedy, you're already laughing. And <laughs> laughter is a very good remedy for stress. <laughs> and our quote of the day <laughs> <it> actually <laughs> is from <laughs> comedy. And besides that, it's also a youth empowerment platform because the NGO, I mean, since the start of 2019, wanted to focus on youth empowerment platforms that can be also a source of fundraiser for the sustainability of the NGO. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, let's go over to uh, your finalist, who is a uh, dominant. Uh, judge, no, don't, don't wait, you know, um, let us know, you know, the comedian or comedian attributes in you, Dominic, before talking about the competition itself. All right, um, normally I just want to give um, a basic advice to all men of God. You see, we should be aware of the kind of um, prayer points we give in church. I've been to church last week in Eastern. And the prayer point from the man of God was like this. He said, now children of God, this is the prayer point for today. Turn to your neighbor and say, Father, turn me into a vampire of blessing. And everybody was like, vampire of blessing? He said, turn, turn, turn your father, turn me into a vampire of blessing. Everybody was just like, turn me into a vampire of blessing. Vampire of blessing, vampire of blessing. Father, turn me into a vampire. And one, one guy at the back was just like, I need blood. I need blood. By then, two vampires have already entered into the church. But we are just busy. Vampire of blessing. But the man of God saw two vampires in the church. And after a moment, the man of God turned to the congregation and was like, Now, children of God, turn to your neighbor and ask your neighbor, neighbor, can you run? We were like, Ah, man of God, we were talking about, so no, ask your neighbor, neighbor, what, what is going on? 
So so what is, is expected of you on, on that day? When is the day again? The day you're yeah. going to uh yes. Yes, yeah, so the day for the event itself is on the sixteenth of October okay. at Family Kingdom Resort Abadin. And um, so if you're an interested party and want to at least purchase your ticket for the show, you can feel free to contact us at um, the number plus 232-7617-417 or 079-507757. And um, yeah. And we hope the tickets are not going to be sold for extensive prices. Oh, no, no, no. We made sure that at least we, the tickets are well diversified. No, according to you, the proceeds from this event is going to uh, cater for less privileged mm -hmm. children, especially those going to school. Mm -hmm. So, how many children um, are you thinking of? How many children do you really want to have? Well, um, I can't give a precise amount because okay. I don't know what the outcome of the event may be. But however, what we did, what we, before the show, before the um, 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 before the show, we actually went to like the various um, institutions which we believe that need help, like the blind school institution, the deaf school, the tertiary home. And we also went to um, certain communities like the Kube, Kanigong Capital communities, where we know that there are people there who need the help. And we already collected data with that with the families and what the children need for the upcoming 2021 academic year. So based on the our proceeds from the event, then we can say that okay, yes, yeah, specifically this is how many. Children so the proceeds will determine how many you will have. Yes. Okay. Yes, indeed. Because yes. by you know how what what is going to be the the the, the outcome. The outcome. Yes. But in Dominic, you know, you are the one that is going to compete. You are competing with others, right? Exactly. So how many uh, how many of you are going to compete in um, this ten, uh, comedy competition? Ten in numbers. And you think uh, you are the best, right? Of course. <laughs> 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 Please talk to us about the grand prize because um, to participate in such competition, one will not want to know what exactly he or she is going to win. Oh uh, yeah. Um, so the because this is the start of the event, um, so we and this the event was fully um, financially sponsored by the NGO. Mm -hmm. Understand, and um, so the cash price is a sum of two thousand dollars, which is like roughly twenty million mm -hmm. units. Um, and there also a full one year scholarship for the winner. If the winner has a child, the child will be fully catered for by the NGO. And what if the winner himself or herself wants to go to a tertiary institution? Would this sponsor? Um, the, the well, um, we haven't yet thought of that because we wanted to make the winners already have a uh, sum of 20 million units. We want to make sure it's diversified in the sense that we are child like, MM education, MM, MM, NGO. Mm -hmm. So, if perhaps there's a winner like Dominic who maybe doesn't have like a child to give the scholarship to, we made a, um, a policy that if you are the winner and you don't have a child to give it to, make sure that you give it to the subsequent contestants because they also equally deserve it. Okay, well, before we go, you know, thank you so much, um, Sars Sheku Aliu Kokobe. Mm -hmm founder of um, advocacy for children's education, where well, they'll be organizing a community competition. I think he's one of the finalists. Now, Dominic, before you go again, you know, don't give us more. Give us more. Those are about to be, are about to be thinking about, you know, you know before we, we go for the competition, the competition. Yes, yes. So we just, let us just have it. Well, um, you look at language, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, you can even do it in Korea. Maybe some. Yes, for yeah. sure. Yes. No problem. Um, normally, we only notice we can a bank business. The way Puma gave a math bank is different from Munima. I didn't have bank one Munima, no one can't team up in a line. He never team up in a wealth call, and so he left the land to go pick the call. And one Puma just can't team up. I don't know if he can call can I say, son, I have the team up. And the Puma said, I'm not meeting her, I'm not coming on this line. So look at that debate, that debate, the money man You know, it's why they close my account at this bank. And as soon as they treat me, they close my account. And that word is not why I get a bank. So one of the we said, so can I go to the manager, let me discuss her. She took the man to the manager, and the manager said, I'm trying to close my account, I'm doing a line, my wife called me, I go, I can't be trying to see what I go to say. And then Sarah Mbretti, <laughs> the manager said, well, no close your account, do you call your heart? Almost one pool. I don't can put 500 million, I go one billion on my account, I want to go celebrate my wife in waiting. She said, no, quick. Now then the man said, well, cash your money, then get I go. And that poor man see up and that I'm not gonna take me to the manager. I'm not agree. I'm not agree. Now I close my account. <laughs> and they take her up to the manager. And I say, what up? I'm closing my account. They can't up my line. They see me in there. I say, almost. They get him, but they can't bring it in. They say, almost you are closing the account. Oh, first, almost you get. That's how I get 200,000. You know, I can't pull 100,000 from the way for Kabbalah. 
Now the manager said, I'll bring the tea with you. He can't pay for it. If you don't close your account, they do the ketchup and they do this. Jesus. I was like, 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 a competition uh, that will be held in October, mm -hmm. and that competition is going to be organized by the um, advocacy for children's education, um, whose um, CEO and founder is um, Sir Sheku Aliuk Kobe. Thank you so much, comedi uh, comedian uh, co uh, uh, George, uh, Dominic mm -hmm. George. Thank you so much for what the application uh, for the yeah. tickets if people want to. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, if you do want to purchase it, I mean, yeah, he that, has announced the number. So yeah, um, just, well, just yes, call us if you just yeah. call us two three two seven six one seven nine four one seven. Okay, thank you so much, uh, gentlemen. Um, he is on Sir Sheku Ali Kube, the founder of an um, advocate C for children's education, and um, earlier you heard um, Dominic, a comedian. Uh, he is actually a stand of comedian. Well, uh, that is how we say goodbye. Uh, very thanks to our viewers, uh, especially the, um, not only viewers, but our production team, Samantha Bar and others. Well, I am Shepo Sumaila saying have a wonderful weekend. Well, I am Daphne Kimama Kole. Do have a blessed weekend. As the mother of the house, whenever I want to prepare palm soup, there's no need pounding palm fruit. All I need is Inkulenus Ghana's original palm soup base. My soup is done and it's prepared. It is not difficult at all. Inkulenu palm soup base. It's easily done with no difficulties. Just take few ladles and your soup is done. And its flavor, ah, it's amazing. This is Inkulenu's Ghana's original palm soup base. And this is Inkulenu's Ghana's original spice palm soup base. Iron fruit and turkey berries are naturally added. Also available brown gold natural cocoa powder, sunny gold brown sugar, meat for full flour, shito, pizza, and moringa. All available at Miami Ado Enterprise, 1 Lower Waterloo Street, Freetown. Ikulenu Palm Soup Base. Ghanaian Original Taste. My name is Tamwame Jewe Kouma. I'm a fisherman. I'm a fisherman. I do fishing work. Fishing and I'm a work. I'm a philosophy. I'm a lifestyle. I'm a train. I'm not going to skill what I'm doing. I'm a fishing work. Skill I'm doing. And in this bank, we all come up from this community. We start time in Mitsubishi Mofuso. We live. We don't have ricks. At ricks. We don't do nothing. We don't do nothing for this. Me like a man, I don't do nothing for myself. But this bank, since I entered this bank, this bank don't make me life don't change. I don't go, I don't go take first loan. I don't pay for 10 months. The first money you are taking. I buy all over net for me boat, for me one boat. This boat only makes. That in the ends, that me other boat be no matter. I buy net. When I don't finish your pay, I take loan and loan back. 30 million. I buy outboard machine. 27 million, 500. I tell you just not to so the balance change will left. I buy net from your boat. When I don't pay, now I go take back. I go take back another more 30 million. Did you get me? Because I buy, I buy because for another more, I ask for another 100 million or 50 million. But the bank saying that small, small. I even the question, I even care to them. They're not taking me. I they trust I they pay. I they trust I they pay. You hear me? Why does the bank not get sufficient money? They're not going to lend me, loan me 50 million or 100 million. Unless 20, 30 million. I don't stop for loan me. When you clean, I go pump fuel. When I go pump fuel, I hold me fisherman them. And I go load, let me go and see. Who go and see, who go eat? 
we can't. We can't. As you come, and they can't let them, and they can't become a woman, a housewife, and they can't get on the fish. Madam, and the fish this. I want to so petrol to so so little, and so and so so little. I want to sell the fish for me, go to Monina Ostomi. to me. When he don't sell on, he can go. I ask him, how much he sell? How much he sell this? He show me. When he don't show me, he can collect the money. Put, if not three million, if not two million, if not one million, if not five hundred thousand, if not seven hundred, if not, no specific amount, no day. Then the people who get inside this number two, number than twenty-three in number, twenty-three in number, and they all are employed. They not they pay them by month. They all not they, they pay themselves by them. Where we gonna see when they change our water? If the fish cannot the chain, all man they take put inside same bag. Run it for pay the, run it some of the pay. Then picking a school fee there. Then they pay in house there. Then they get a welfare for themselves. They do everything with him, the fish or the fish with me. So we get a lot of challenges now. See, we the fishermen them. One, first and foremost, the challenge we get now. See, we get boats on the called channel boats them. That's small, small channel boats them. Then they are more gonna see. Second point, they see them white boats and they, when they see them, so then 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 Chinese man them boats them. They the torment me now. See, they they come fishing at the I E Z. We so say the fish and they go born. We so say the fish and they lay egg. They go and they go, they go, they go disturb the fish, they go disturb the fish and egg. When the most of concern, they get to see. The challenge is that they get to see. Don't they book with them? They pull with them. They never, they 